What's up guys, welcome back, it's Zobber and I here, your Tekken Games Crusader. What we have here today is a Vivo White Pneumatic Arm Single Monitor Desk Mount. And what we're going to do with it is, thanks to Vivo's new $80 mic arm, they have a $12 upgrade part that uh, will convert this... To be able to use with a microphone that uses the size adaption of this. So without further ado, we're going to get into doing this conversion to show you how to do it. If you have certain models of the Vivo product line of the monitor arms, this is a 17 to 27 inch mount in white because my desk is white. I want it white. So, we're going to convert it over to use this. Alright, so let's go ahead and get it unpacked. Just uh, in case you're wondering how long this is. You got 10 inches on this bottom part. And another foot. So 22 inches long right here. It is pneumatic, so it does adjust. It just takes force to compress it. Or you can drain the force the gas out of it just by keep on adjusting to where it'll stay down more. The cool thing I like about this is, no, sorry, you have a cable clip here to hold your mic cable and that comes in handy. I mean this mount is pretty cheap for the cost. On Amazon, this is $31 for white, you know, good quality metal mount. Let's go ahead and assemble the base here. The base! So you can see, it does have padding on here. It is just foam strips, but it is still padding. So it doesn't scratch your desk whenever you apply it. It'll go like this along the edge of the desk. So you have a good amount of area that's getting surface to the desk. So it won't just snap off of your desk or something. I'm going to unscrew this down. Now, as you can see over here, I already used some of their products. And I've got my mic mounted on the original $80 one currently. And then this is my 32-inch Samsung curved 1440p 0.1 millisecond refresh HDR display. And it's mounted on the other side of it. And you can see this is a pretty substantial base. And... This is going to be no different, so let's get this down to there. Let's get our Allen wrenches out so we can assemble the base. Hope everyone is having a pleasant day. I am now my second day without blood thinner. Because I'm having dental procedures done tomorrow that require me to be off of blood thinner for two days prior and two days after. And it's really, really frustrating and a lot of pain currently. So this is taking my mind off of that pain. Alright, so let's take a look at our instructions here. Contents, we're good. Phillips head screwdriver. We're good. Grab that out of here. Get 
Phillips head. Done. All right. Option A, desk clamp installation. This is what we're going to be doing on my case because this desktop is very, very thin. And I am not putting a hole in it because it is on a uh, height adjustment motorized configuration. As you can see right here, I'm holding this module on with a head headphone clamp or headphone uh, mount. Which is getting replaced to a different kind from Vivo that flips up when you're not using it. So it'll be out of the way and I can be able to up, I can lower and raise the desk without fear of my console stand and turntable stand getting in the way. So um, whenever I get things cleaned up after I get the router and stuff configured and set up after uh, a couple more upgrades I will definitely give you guys a uh, overview of my workstation area and everything just currently everything is in a good enough to work state and that's all that I really require I'm not able to stream right now or anything so I don't have a whole lot of flashy stuff it's just convenience for me having everything right around me at the same time so that's why you always almost always see a mess of stuff on top of my desktop and then you have my tv okay so assemble base b this part to clamp c this part using M6 by 8 bolts. So M6 by 8 bolts are these And tighten with five millimeter Allen key. Okay, that's our larger Allen key, which is this one. And it's not just an Allen key, it also has a Phillips head on the other side, if you notice. So that's kind of cool. Typically, you would use a screwdriver, which I'm still going to do. Unscrew the large clamp bolt to the open position. I've already done that. For a quarter inch to, or for three eighths inch to two inch thick desk, place clamp disc onto the top of the clamp bolt. Place assembled base onto edge of desk and tighten using the five millimeter Allen's Allen key. Okay, and then for one and a half inch to three and one eighth inch desk thickness, remove the two bolts from the back of the clamp using the five millimeter Allen key, and then reassemble clamp to the lower position. Place clamp disc E onto the top of the desk or on top of the clamp bolt. Place assembled base onto edge of desk and tighten using the 5mm Allen key. And then option B is the through way where you would do for a hole in your desk. We're not going to do that. We're doing this. Okay. So let's go ahead. We're looking here. These two holes. To these two holes. Yep. 
Yeah, sorry my hands are so red. Me being extremely hot-blooded. And having no blood thinner in me currently. It leaves me in quite a, a heated state. Alright, so we've got these piloted... We can get twice as much range of motion out of this side. Now the reason I didn't just, you know, take what I've already got and just add another arm onto it is because I wanted to replace that with a separate unit just for the monitor and for another monitor. And then this one will be just for the microphone. Tighten this one down now. We can technically get more range of motion from here all the way around. Make sure these are tight. They are tight. Alright. So this is the part that will go on here. And this is what's going to provide a locking position on the bottom. Of the desk and where these usually have a through hole on them and fall down this one is solid on it it just has a little bevel that it'll sit up against it and we'll show you how Let's take a seat in the chair so I can show you. All right, you can see it's sitting on there. We'll just screw it in to clamp. Now, what would happen is this part slides over it. And if you're just using it for a monitor, that's all you would have to do, other than just screwing in your monitor to the, uh, you have 75 and 100 vase amounts on here. We're going to be taking this plate off now, though. The only part that won't be white on the new monitor mount for the mic is this plate that we're attaching right here. Also, my projector is sitting on another single arm mount. So let's go ahead get back to standing here so we can get this undone.
And this is the hole that will be used for adjusting the tightness of the angle. We won't be doing anything with it. I mean, that's all we needed the instructions for. It's very light instructions. Most of it is, hey, don't, you know, jack your jaw whenever you take off the zip tie holding this thing together under compression. And then the back of monitor mount, which we're not going to be doing. So this video, I'm not using the Sure SM7B. As I previously had been it's back here out of the way for the time being until I get this done so it would be best if I had two of these to get this out because it has one on each side all right we got one side out let's get the other side out get this part out we have these spacers here what they do is provide staying power now we're going to apply this so we're almost done with this mod already and it's way cheaper for twelve dollars plus thirty one than getting this fully assembled for eighty So if you're looking for more substantial size and um, heavy duty mic arm, this is what I would recommend. You know, you don't need a Gator, you don't need uh, a Triumph or a Roadcaster stand or any of that stuff with this. All right, let's see if I can get this loosened up. Straightened out. So one thing to notice. This has the shape of the bolt right there. So we'll put that on the inside. started
Alright. Sorry, guys. My dexterity is suffering because of uh, blood disease. And not having blood thinner makes that much worse. Maybe the other way. Okay, so we got one side done. Let's get this spacer on there. So I'm going to do something a little bit different, a little bit customized. On the side that has the bolt impression, I'm going to put this through the bolt impression so that this still goes in with the bolt on. Let's take out one of the spacers here. Put one back in. The flat one back in. And these, these are cupped. So they're concave. Or convex. Depending on which way you turn it. So, it's the flat one. That's really annoying. There we go. Alright, we're not putting the other spacer, we're just putting this one in.
screw the other side down a bit more. There we go. Alright, so we have two of these when I do it this way. So the other side is in. It, it's it's good. It's on. This side, where it was designed for this to go through, and this hole in it, it's too small. We just used the same ones that came with it. As sort of a spacer way. And this thing's not going to fall off by any means. Main thing is, we're just compensating for the bolt-shaped so, uh, hole, which is larger, that won't fit through there. But, uh, yeah, that's on there. Now, we can just put a mic on there. All right. Here's the Sure SM7B. As you can see, it is the size of this. And now, let's run our cable. And let's clip our cable. Well, let's move the actual mic over where it's going to be. That was heavy on my toes. Place our headphone hanger. And this is our control for the desk. I don't really want to have it too far. And I don't want to cover my anti-static mat. So, we'll push it over here. We'll move the Go XLR over because not using it. Just this thing for 500 doesn't do nearly as well as this does on mobile or on PC for a hundred dollars. 
And this little thing right here makes this sound amazing without a cloud lifter. Is literally this because all of the stuff on here that you can do with this thing. This is the Sure MVI that I did a unboxing and overview of earlier in the year, or and it, it's fantastic. Like literally the best sounding module for audio interface that I've ever used because of the Sure Motive software. All right, for right now, we will put the control module over here and lower that down some more. Accessorial connection. I don't use this for the RGB. It has RGB on it. I just don't care for it. RGB. It's not my thing. Never has been. I liked UV back in the day, but that's about it. All right. We're going to have it. right there. Tighten this down. Now my new um, anti-static mat, because this one is pretty beaten up, is uh, going to be a little bit larger. It's going to be a uh, two foot by five foot, and this is a two by four. So let's go ahead Sit our arm down. Oh, yeah, we'll clip down the other end of the cable here. There you go. I am extremely happy with this because of, look at this, I'm standing and this is right at my mouth now. So yeah, this is perfect. Most of the times you want to talk directly into this end on a dynamic microphone like the Shure SM7B or the MV7. You don't want to talk into the side of it like you would normally with a cardioid mic. So, yeah. I mean, you can talk up to it, but that's not very comfortable. You can lower it, though, to where... Just like that. So now I'm sitting down. And you can see it's right here. It's within four inches of my mouth. My desk is kind of high because I don't like to have my arms just draping because it does uh, affect my circulation but yeah guys uh let me know what you think you know if you like the video please like and you know give a thumbs up consider subscribing to know whenever i have new content that comes available 
And uh, also, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Zyber Knight, your Tekken Games Crusader. Hope you guys have a good night, good day. Take care. We'll see you later.